27. Hindi lahat ng kabataan, video games ang inaatupan dahil may ilang nakahalapan ng paraan para kumita habang nag-aaral. Ngayong may pandemia, marami ang nakadiskubre, negosyante pala sila. Pero sino ang makapagsasabi sa gitna rin ng pandemia? Pwede kang maging isang video na... During the pandemic, many people lost their jobs, and as a result, many also sold online to get out of poverty and earn an income to support daily living. Some students are bored at home, so they thought of selling online to earn an income to support daily expenses for education and additional income for the family. This process of selling allows the consumer to know the information of the product through text photos, and multimedia files. Many of us suffer from this pandemic. There's a lot of opportunities that has been missed. Some of the members of their families lost their jobs, and most of our respondents answered that this pandemic was the reason why they become an online seller. So they strive hard to at least help their daily needs and for personal needs. In this documentary research, you will encounter the bad and the good things of being an online seller student. I'm I'm here today to ask you some questions regarding the life costs and benefits of online seller students. Here are my questions. How do your online business start? Dahil na uso my online business starts when I was 17 years old last year. And ayun, nag-start lang yun dahil sa pagka-board kasi wala akong kinagawa to some house. And that was the summer and dira din yung open namin nun. So nag-decide ako na mag-online training. And through influences of others, na nakikita ko sa social media, nakikita ko ng sarili kong sarili. So, so nag-start ako ng mga panahon ng pandemic. So, wala tayong masyadong pinag-abalahan. Mm -hmm. Then, naisipan ni ate na, oh, ano yung business mo na ako for that time para rin makatulog sa akin at para rin meron ako pinag-abalahan. Dala ng pag-support, naka-isip ako ng online business. What motivates you or influence you to venture into online selling? Dahil sa tingin ko, makakaroon din nato ng extra impact. When I was scrolling that time, madami kong nakita ang mga online seller nun ng mga katulad kong students. So, sabi ko, if they can do it, so, kaya ko din yun. Nag-try talaga ako. Si ate, motivate sa akin para ang online selling. Then, yun, natipuhan ko rin naman siya para sa rin sa what are the advantages of online business in general, financial, social, and impersonal? Dahil sa extra income, nakatatulong din ako sa mga gastusin sa aming bahay. At natutustusan ko rin ang mga iba pang gastusin sa aking pag-aaral. Advantages of online business in, in the term of financial, it's easy to make money. Madali, siyang madali, baka, madali ka lang makahanap ng money. Ako, pumunta, bumupunta ka sa meet-up, 20 pesos lang yung dala ko. Yung ngayon yung uwi ko, it's about 3K to 5K, isang day lang yun. So, sa naman, advantages. Madami ko nakilala kasi, hindi yung advantage na yun para sa akin maging, maging social na ako sa iba, maging palapad ako, maging friendly ko gano'n. <laughs> Nakakatulong siya sa pang araw-araw at sa gasolusin para makakabili kung anong kamalan dito sa bahay. At para na rin sa akin, bibili ko kung gusto ko nabili ko. What are the disadvantages of online business? <laughs> Minsan, nahihirapan din ako dahil meron mga Bogus buyer. Mahirap rin kagsabayin ng pag-review sa online at pag-aaral. So, it's a lot of disadvantage of online business. Kasi, 
as a student, <coughs> student pa ako. So, mahirap pa na i-manage yung time. May school nga niya. Tapos magigipag-meet up ka. Tapos magpapak ka ng order. Tapos magigipag-check ka ng mga buyers. So, ayun. Pero, nansayo naman na kasi yung paano may i-handle yun. Yung advantage ng online business, Time management, minsan hindi mo na nakataw sa tayo mo, yun, tapos pag may, ay, may order sa'yo, hindi mo mamamanage, minsan, kaya yun, time management. Kadalik, minsan hindi nakakapagpasa ng mobile kasi time management hindi nagkakapag, hindi nagkakapagmata. Online selling is also very popular these days. Strategies and sales talk is a must. And attracting online buyers takes time. And also, there are a lot of competitors. You need to make your product stand out. Since the seller is a teenager, it's easy for them to identify what's trendy and what would the customers like to purchase. Being an online seller is a hard job because there are a lot of online scammers and sometimes it discourages the buyers to purchase online. Despite of the disadvantage, they still have the courage to do online selling to make a living. While basic education classes for school year 2020 and 2021 are set to open in October, yet many students continue to race against time to prepare for their online classes. Distance learning during the pandemic has caused a lot of concern among families, especially those who cannot afford the tools needed for it. As many struggles without income after the months-long lockdown, students have resorted to different measures to meet the demands of schooling. It is difficult to combine learning and selling online for students. It takes effort and perseverance to support daily living for their families and purchase the necessities for their education. And since this is the time of pandemic, we have no choice but to look for a source of income, especially for students who are already taking risk on daily basis. While online shopping is convenient, the price aren't always reliable. Most of the time, low prices doesn't guarantee good quality. And shopping for authentic and high-quality products online requires a lot of research and scoring through sections for the sites. According to Jeline Pinalosa, since the pandemic urges, every one of us needs to follow health protocols such as social distancing. Online shopping does a great help in implementing this. The lockdown imposed by the government had especially hit starting and small businesses and startups. As stores and businesses have been readily shifting to serve their customers online, they limit the number of people going to their physical stores. By doing this, they keep their customers and employees safe from the virus while still being able to operate. Selling online is a good idea for the safety of the family as well. Online selling has become a new trend of shopping nowadays, and it's quickly becoming an important part of a lifestyle. Of course, shopping for essential isn't the reason why we keep adding stuff in our carts. It can be the convenience of buying items that are normally hard to find in stores or we're getting Christmas gifts for our loved ones and ourselves.
The challenges of COVID-19 may seem unnerving, yet it can be an opportunity for growth and positive changes. May we strive to be hopeful, courageous, and resilient. Despite the adversities we have to face, let us draw strength from each other as we pray for healing around the world.